This okay. research comes from a group of scientists at the University of Paris. <laughs> what did they find? So they found that these processed or heavily processed foods are actually killing us. They followed, we knew they were bad though, right? We knew they were bad. They followed up 45,000 people, adults, uh, over a seven year period, and they monitored their eating habits or dietary habits. And what they found was those that were eating more of these heavily processed, otherwise known Dead. as the ultra processed, actually died 18 months earlier, a year and a half earlier over that seven year period. So what does ultra processed food mean? So, and how is it different from processed food? Yeah, think of a food that's undergone several uh, different processes to get to the form it's in. So think about the frozen foods like your pies, your pastries, your pizza, yeah. also your chocolates, your popcorn, uh, and, and confectionery, biscuits, 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 all Wait, those so foods. So it's not like a whole food experience where you've, even if you've cooked it or it's gone through a process, it's actually gone through another process and then now it's something right. that resembles food. It has a lot of ingredients in it, a lot of additives and also ingredients like hydrogenated oils, which actually increase the stability or the shelf life. Now these aren't good for our health. Okay, so ultra processed oh, foods, they do tend to have poor nutritional value. What do you find to be the key issues? So they're high in saturated fat, but also sugar and salt. So they're not foods that are good for us. They're going to contribute to the growing waistlines we see today, but also increase your chance of heart attack. They're the ones that actually block your arteries up over time. They're the ones dumping cholesterols in your arteries and, you know, looking, well, they're going to result in you you're probably having a heart attack at one stage if you're relying on them all the time. So they're not something that should be part of your day-to-day -day eating plan. Right. But they are super delicious. <laughs> they are. And is there any way to mitigate these effects if you do like them? Well, look, the great thing is, well, firstly, there's a reason why we keep going back for these foods. There's a reason why they're addictive. Mm. When we eat them, they release that pleasure response or feel-good co chemical in the brain I called it I dopamine. Can, That's get it right. Wherever I so you can. release dopamine. And Just then there's wait. other parts of the brain that actually remember that sense of satisfaction when you have your popcorn and trigger oh, wow. response next but time you see that food. It's corn just a corn That's right. So it's releasing so that, that it pleasure that response. Some off a, off a piece of corn, which I believe is grown in the. Some ground. are less processed than others. Okay. okay? So oh, no. the really heavily processed foods are the ones we're reaching for all the time. The problem is, if you think about your fruits, the nature's treats. They're the ones that we used to get the pleasure response from. You can retrain your brain okay, to reach for pleasure. fruit. Just depends on the fruit. That's right. So for more information, go to uh, dot .interval.weightloss.com.au. Dr Nick, always great having you here. Thank you very Thank you, much Dr. for Nick. having me.